They were welcomed with a beaming smile as they descend back to their first test of the Gambian summer. For the next two weeks, these tourists will get to see firsthand what the Gambia has to offer. If there is one thing this country offers best is its peace, hospitality, sun, beautiful beaches and diverse cultural attractions. Russia is one of the coldest countries in the world. So a country like the Gambia, the smiling coast of West Africa, offers the perfect tourist destination for these tourists. Well, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, it's, I'm very glad to, get, uh, to come here because I always wanted to visit Africa and first of all not Tunis, not Egypt, but uh, Gambia because there is an Atlantic Ocean and uh, I always wanted to swim in it. Okay. So first of all, that uh, the weather is very hot, and uh, I uh, understand that it's very wet, and uh, all people are very handsome and uh, they are sweet, they uh, smile. So that is why I think that uh, my uh, vacation will be nice and good. In 2017, tourism contributed 21.9 percent to the country's GDP and employed about 54,000 people, according to World Travel and Tourism Statistics. And this was a sharp increase on the previous number of arrivals. We're very optimistic, uh, and I, I can tell you now, you know, as we speak now, even um, as of uh, end of uh, August, we have actually surpassed our projection for 2018. So, so the, the uh, frequency of the flood that we have so far, the indications that we will definitely surpass even our projection come 2019. So yes, uh, everybody is excited. And we're happy that we're in the right direction to continue promoting destination Gambia to the whole world. Lamin Manga, Russian councillor in the Gambia, believes the coming of Russian tourists could open more investment opportunities for the country. We're hoping that uh, this will be um, just the start of a beginning of uh, a building relationship. As you know, Moscow and Banjul have very cordial ties, uh, but we're hoping that uh, we'll also see Russian investment opportunities along the way. Gambia has always been um, a tourist uh, destination. It's not the first time that Russians are coming here, but not only are we very peaceful, uh, but Gambians are just very nice, hence our term, the smiling coast, and I'm, I'm sure they're here uh, to get a, uh, a feel of that smiling coast. Uh, we've got about 100 journalists that are here as well, uh, as part of the delegation, so hopefully they'll get a chance to uh, experience that smiling coast hospitality and um, uh, we hope that um, uh, this will be replicated and uh, shown around Russia. And uh, we hope that uh, beyond the winter season, we'll be seeing uh, more tourists. One of the biggest challenges facing the Gambian tourism industry is to make the country an all year round tourist destination. Making this long term dream a reality will require huge investment and robust marketing strategy. However, the penetration of the Russian market will be an added boost. We've been working very hard for a long time to, uh, to get uh, Russian and other tour operators in, uh, in, in Europe uh, to the Gambia. Our main ambition is to make Gambia an all year round destination. That is a very big ambition that we have with the FTI group and with Meeting Point International here in the Gambia. FTI, an international tour operator, and their partner Meeting Point have been accused by local tour operators of having an all-inclusive package which denies them an opportunity to get a fair share of the market. There's been a lot of uh, rumours and hearsay about uh, what uh, FTI and Meeting Point are going to do here in the Gambia. And uh, I'm very happy to be here today to be able to try and defuse some of those rumours. Uh, first of all, the all-inclusive element. Uh, now. We've, we have uh, we've partnered with 20 hotels already, even before starting here in the Gambia. So 20 different hotels, and not one of them we have enforced all-inclusive. We have uh, our own brand, La Branda, that is offering all-inclusive as the only one. Uh, and we are basically, we're catering for all different types of tourists and their needs. So it's a question of, of uh, supplying what is asked for by the, by the clients. And the majority of our clients actually have, uh, have booked for the future a uh, half board or just bed and breakfast because of course they want to go out, uh, spend money in the local community and uh, enjoy the Gambian hospitality. Mamudu Gajaga, QTV News.